It's Monday. It's a new month. What better way to celebrate the beginning of a new month than doing some GeoGuessr? And not just any GeoGuessr, let me tell you. It is the states, as it is every Monday, alphabetically. And it's just not any state today. It's friggin' Kansas. Now, what I'll say off the bat is you've seen me make jokes about how flat and boring the last couple of states were. Well, Kansas wishes it was Iowa, Illinois, or Indiana. Um, it is very much in the middle of nowhere. And that's a bit unfair. And by a bit, probably a lot, but this is me. A very unrepresentative um, curator, I guess you could say, of a tour of the U.S. And here we are, very much working our way through Kansas. And I'm very surprised that there's more tree here than <clears throat> more trees here than my preconceived notions of the state are. Anyway, here we are. It is Kansas. Let's get some information out of the way. These guys are some Sooner fans. I'll tell you that right now. That's the wrong state. Unless we're actually closer to the border down here. So maybe I'll say we're in our Kansas City. Um, anyway, let me clear my throat. All right, we are recording. Again, this is Kansas. Capital of Kansas is Topeka. As you can see, it's you, you got to zoom in a bit to see Topeka. It's right there. Um, it was the, what state in the Union? Let's see, 34th state admitted into the United States on January 29th, 1861. So that was pretty recent, well, as far as a birthday goes. We're in Palmer, Kansas right now. Problem is, I'm probably not going to find Palmer, Kansas here. But we're going we're gonna to try. I'm assuming we're near <clears throat> Oklahoma just because that person has a Sooners flag. Granted, Oklahoma is a pretty big college. So it's pretty common to see a lot of people be fans of that college for sports when they have like no actual connection to it. Man, it's a little longer than I thought. All right. Didn't see it there. We are on Palmer, so now I'm going to try to find... Hmm. I was going to try to see a main row, but it's fucking... We're going backwards, apparently. There are roads everywhere. This is the first time I've seen a post office that's on a, their main road, which is Dirt Road. Palmer Jail. That's a fun place to be. I'm going to say that we're in this little area over here. I'm just going to click there and be done with it. <clears throat> anyway, 34th state in the Union. We have, let's see, 15th biggest state in the Union by area. Uh, and as, as much as I joke about how flat it is, apparently it's like 29th or 30, 30 something. It's right in the middle of the pack as far as like change in elevation comparatively, which, you know, it's, it's, it sounds like somebody trying to like really split hairs and just be like, well, actually type stuff. Okay. So I do have a root now. I doubt I'm actually going to find 115 here, but I am going to quickly look in the 10 seconds I have left. Okay, there's the border. 183. Sunflower is like a big thing on all their root signs as well. Opposite side of the camp. Yeah, okay, we were, we were very much farther north. Oh, Palmer does show up. I don't see 115 anywhere, though. See a 15. <clears throat> anyway. Anything else of interest about Kansas? Um... Other than it's flat, I don't know. One fifty ninety nine. I I'm I'm gonna try to focus on finding these roads. Um, 
it's a uh it's the center of the US whenever you think of like Dust Bowl or you think agriculture or any of that stuff. That's basically what this place is. There's a uh okay, so we've got even this way, odd this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see one fifty six, but I'm not seeing one fifty nine. It's Dust Bowl stuff, it's agriculture, it's you know, there's some metropolitan stuff here, but it's really more for uh, farmlands. Although there is, along with a lot of rural places now, a huge... <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat again, sorry. A huge, like, exodus. And that might be too strong of a word, but there is a noted flight, you could say, from rural areas to cities now, at least in the U.S., and a lot of smaller states, rural states, are running into the issue now of a lot of people not wanting to do agriculture work just because it's not, there's like no money in it. And ever, there, there's a stress, and it's not a bad stress, but like an emphasis on getting college education just because that's like a thing you do. Everyone's like, pickers and hoarders, what a great name for your town. Uh, post office, what do we got here? That's the Kansas flag with the little seal, and it says Kansas underneath. As is the <clears throat> tradition with most states, is they'll have their state seal. And at Southside Grocery, I have not clicked a thing yet, have I? Yeah, I have not. Why am I not finding 155 or 9 here? This is, there's 9. Okay, so let's zoom in and try to find. 159 now. So we've got 9 here. How long is 9? Not very. So we're along here. I'm going to try to find. This is such a. Uh, this Framingham? This is like. Effingham. It exists. There's a really good song by uh, Ben Folds called Effingham. I never knew it actually exists. Well, be, things eventually will exist if you... It, it's probably a name somewhere. Like, there's a town called Speed. Where's Effingham? I do a lot of F in here. But I'm not seeing it. Um, well, we're almost near Route 9, but we're not. So let's zoom out a bit and kind of look... a little bit bigger. Wider out to try to find it. Not seeing it. Hmm. Oh, nine continues up here. Well, I'm going to click up here then. Okay, this route goes Effingham. Perfect. All right, we're in Effingham now. We were coming off a road. I'm going to get home because I think we just might be able to find this in the 10 seconds we've got left. I think I went the wrong fuck. I went the wrong way. Get me to the road. Main Street. Main Street. Ah, I ran out of time. Could have got that one too. All right, Effingham, you got me some. Uh, got me some points there. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted by surprisingly actually being potentially able to find it and get a good score here. Um, what do we got here? Anything of note to really say about Kansas? Very religious. There's a pretty good breakdown. Again, most of this stuff I'm getting it off Wikipedia, but it's it's a very religious state, pretty conservative state. There is a um, breakdown of the uh, voting. Uh, what is it called? The tree map of the popular vote by county in 2016 for the presidential election. And the more, like, it's either blue or red, and the more blue or more red it is, the more it swing, swung towards that end. As you can see, it, when you look at it, there's only two counties that uh, did not go Republican. And those are probably the ones with cities in them. But it's... Creamery Bridge. I thought this said Cemetery Bridge. 
very conservative. Um, a lot of tornadoes also here too. Very religious. Maybe I'm being a little too, like, generalizing with a lot of this stuff, but there's, uh, let's see, 57% of the people who are religious in the state are Protestant. Actually, 20% are unaffiliated with 2% being atheist and 3 being agnostic. Um, I don't know what to compare that to to the rest of the country, but I would assume that if it, unless you go, like, into the south here, that's probably a bit more religious, but again, assumptions. And with most states, Kansas not being much different, there's always state symbols. It's, uh, I may not have mentioned that in other ones, but each state kind of has like its state bird, state flag, state flower, state motto. Um, I know this one is, uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to find where we are on the side of that van. We're going to head towards what may be town. What I am surprised, though, I will give it credit, and it is a bit random. The selections of uh, GeoGuess locations actually are pretty good compared to some of the other states I've had. We've gotten fortunate with getting, except for the first one, enough information to locate where we are. So. Props on that, or at least a map maker for doing it. We got Osawatomi History Museum. Hmm. Wolfpack Railroad Depot Museum. Osawatomi, I guess. Um, we're in Osawatomi. Okay. Now I'm not going to be able to find that just by name. <laughs> well, it looks like they've done a bit of work to downtown here it looks like but i need to find a route so we're going to go down main street of osawatomi and see if i can't find a route and then work from there but anyway if you want to know what kansas states whatever are the state amphibian is called the barred tiger salamander the animal is the american bison which those well they're still around they kind of got hunted quite a bit because they were just literally everywhere. I don't like using that word a lot because I think literally is used too much. Uh, the bird? Fuck. I completely ran out of time. Why do I keep doing that? My memory is going. Or ability to remember or pay attention. Like, I'm sure... You were all screaming at me to be like, hey, idiot, you're, uh, you're going to get zero points again. Or if you're like, watch, he's going to get zero points again. I bet you a drink. A Coke. I got to cough again. Excuse me. That he was going to do that. And God damn it, I didn't disappoint. Except myself. Okay, we got 105 this way, and we're stuck behind a nothing right now. Okay, one of five turns. Here's another sleepy town. That, we'll see if it's actually open. Toronto, American Legion. Is this Toronto, Kansas? I'm, I'm assuming. There's nothing here. Post office, the one at Toronto Market in Delhi. The Toronto Cafe. It is for sale. This is a dead town. Toronto Library. Last Chance Laker with some Budweiser. So we're in Toronto. Man, we're getting post offices, all this stuff. Good on MapMaker for this one. So I'm going to try to find 105 as I list off. If you want to know what the uh, state bird was before I get interrupted by not remembering to click, which I'm going to do right now, is the Western Meadowlark. State flower, excuse me, as you probably can guess, because it's on all of their signs, is the sunflower. You have the insect is the European honeybee, which seems a little weird because it's not from Kansas, but also it's like, hey, it's agriculture, it's a agricultural insect doing work for us. 
probably is their logic behind it. You've got the motto, to the stars through difficulties, which why don't you just go to the stars without killing yourself, you know? There are easier ways. You've got Stay Reptile is the ornate box turtle. Not just any turtle, the ornate one. I'm clicking as I feel like I gotta be getting closer. <clears throat> the song is Home on the Range. Oh, they even have a, they have a state dirt. If you want state soil, it's Harney Silt Loam. Apparently they named dirt. I didn't know that that was a thing. At least Kansas does. And someone cares enough to make Harney Silt Loam. They're dirt. Cottonwood is the tree. And that's all you've got for state things. Oh, state seal is symbols of commerce, which is a river steamboat and agriculture. It's a farmer plowing, which is adopted in 1861. Uh, since it is so flat, and we do have the issue of tornadoes, which are pretty exclusive. I mean, there's water. Well, I forget what they're called when they're tornadoes on water. But those are a thing in other parts of the world. They just happen with way more frequency here in the U.S. Why can't I find this stupid thing? You tiny town. So I'm still upset over that last guess. 105 is north-south, so I should be seeing it. All right, we're going to do in the 10 seconds I have left. Just doing this. Okay, we made it to the edge of the border. Back this way. Oh, we weren't too far. Well, it's because it's, it, it's not showing up. The 105 is not on here. And I'm not seeing Toronto listed anywhere here either. That, I guess it, the town doesn't exist, even though they have a, the post office. It is such a tiny blip on the radar. They don't bother with it. All right. Last one. We're going to get a bad score because of my own own, my own own ineptus. This looks to be a abandoned school. Or at least off-season. Summer is what I meant. Or this is a factory of some sort. Let's head this way on the newly paved road and try to find where we is. We do have a sign in front of this building. The sign says you gotta have a membership card to get inside. This is Buckner Performing Arts Magnet. Doesn't help me. Once we get to an intersection, I'm gonna look at a street sign and maybe it'll say like... Yep, no it doesn't. I thought maybe it would say the town we're in. Like, Philadelphia did that, if you remember that from one time you're in Philadelphia for something. Union Rescue Mission, a thrift store. We've got Waste Management, which is a huge Ame Church. It's a huge dump dumpster company. Okay, we're in a pretty big chunk of town at least just because there's a four lane road here and they just don't pull out that red carpet for anybody come on give me at least a route what do we got is this still a union rescue mission feed your soul with a second shift cook needed and apply inside oh Wichita what is this Bridgewater Wichita uh, what path? Maybe we may be outside of Wichita. Come on, what do we got? Got the Riordan Clinic. That don't help me. Let's get Junction of ninety six. All right, so this may be Wichita, or at least close to it. We got Hutchinson and. Uh, I'm actually going to come up to this sign because I think it's going to be a, uh... yeah, they put that sign on everything. Hutchinson. All right. There's Hutchinson. The 96. Look around for 96. 
I don't see it. 96 West will take us to Hutchins. There's 96. Okay. So it seems to be a... Uh, we might be on, like, the outskirts, I think. Can we see maybe a... Uh... All right, let's get to this area. It says your stances. Yeah, where's, where's my words? Hillside West. All right, so we will assume we're over here and just look for whatever that hillside could be. Hmm. We are on a... I don't think we're in a... Like... Very close to Wichita. Here we go. This will help. This will very much help. Although it's raining. That might not be the best. Wichita State University is two miles. Okay, let's find the university. There's Wichita State. Two miles. Okay, so we are getting off. Is this the 135? Let's, let's get back up here. Oh, it's sunny again. I ran out of time. We were close, way closer into town there, but... Huh, I guess everything was on the east side this time. With one completely neglecting to click, ugh, to click the thing type thing. Anyway, that's Kansas. Um, hopefully I made enough sense to get through that. If you got any other questions or thoughts or observations or other insights you have yourself about Kansas or things you want me to say or clarify, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Along with any other map suggestions game suggestions, theme suggestions you have. Could be for maps, could be for anything, honestly. Put them down there as well, along with like, favorite, comment, subscribing, everything else that everyone else asks of you. I am no different. And I will let you know that we're going to be back here again on uh, Wednesday, another round of this. You guys try to have yourself a good Monday. You've done them before, you'll do them again. We'll see you again real soon. Goodbye.